This old guy DIY video has to do with trying to cheaply get by with 30 year old dry rotted tires. So I bought a piece of John Deere equipment that had these dry rotted tires on them. They wouldn't hold any air. So I thought I'll take the cheap way out and I bought a $10 Chinese inner tube first. So I pulled the tire off of the rim, uh, put the inner tube in, blew it up, and you can see what happened to that crack. So obviously this is no good. So this is what the other side looks like. But I suspect these things are about 35 years old. So I went to Amazon looking for Carlisle tires. The ad said made in America. You see made in China right there. So now I need to remove the old inner tube, take the wheel off the rim, and put the new tire on over the inner tube. When it comes to breaking the bead on these small tires from lawnmowers and things like that, I found the best technique is just to put them in a vise. And then as you tighten the vise up, make sure the vise is on the rubber on both sides, not on the wheel. And it should just pop here in a moment. And as you crank it down, the tire will just separate from the wheel. I have the new inner tubes and tires installed. And you can see by the damage here that I did with the Harbor Freight tire spoons, that I'm certainly not an expert. So I went through with Dawn dishwashing liquid and I lubed up this surface before I started. And then as I was working my way around, I just took a little vice grip and I'd put it on these two points, for example. And then as I took a bite over here, I'd move the vice grip. So I kept moving a vice grip around till I got that last edge over. But you can see that I damaged the wheels a little bit. And the reason I tried to, to put new wheels on this rather than just buy a new hub assembly because you can buy a new hub assembly for about 50 bucks and this cost me $40 a tire for the inner tube and the tire itself but everything I read said the bearing assemblies on the new ones that you get are crap and this is a machine from 1988 it's an actual John Deere unit and from what I can tell the bearings are still good and everything seems to work as far as the hub assembly goes so I thought the hub assembly was more valuable then the time I would save, I didn't want to put new hub assemblies from China on there, run for 12 hours and have them fall apart. So I've gotten the rubber back on. I inflated these to 36 pounds a piece. It says not to exceed 46, but this is what I'm going to run with. I hope this video helped you and have a great day.